Easy now, folks. So the other week I had a bit of fun um, with AI, asking it questions about fish keeping and seeing how accurate it would be. And it was very, very accurate. It was very good. Uh, I don't blame you if you missed it. It was only a bit of fun. But, yeah, it was excellent. Now I'm hearing that AI can generate images from text. So I thought, well, how about we combine the two things, right? So what I'm going to do is go to ChatGBT and put in a description of a fish, right? So describe and if I could spell, and Oscar fish. Well, what I want to do is get the description and put the description in the image generator to see what happens, right? So, right, hold on, a bit of a problem. It's describing its behavior and all sorts. What I want is <laughs> what it looks like, hold on. Oh, here we go, here we go. Right, so let's copy that and then we will go to one of the sites. I'm using Crayon at the minute. Put the description in Crayon. Let's see what it comes out with, right? Looks like it's going to take a few seconds. Don't blame it. It's kind of complicated what I've put in there, I guess. But I'm hoping... Well, I don't know what I'm hoping for. I don't know if it's going to give me an accurate picture of an Oscar fish or if it <laughs> or if it's gonna come up with something pure bizarre. Let's see. Get faster results. Oh, I don't wanna pay for anything just now if I'm honest with you. Right here we go. Oh look at this. That is not bad actually. That is not bad at all. I don't know about that one there, but that one you could recognise as an Oscar, and that one you could certainly describe, uh, identify as an Oscar. I think that's pretty cool. Can we go bigger? There we go. Look. Yeah, you might think that's an Oscar fish, wouldn't you? Okay, let's try something different then, right? So let's go back to ChatGBT and we'll put in. How do I do this now? Let's put in describe a better fish. And again, we're going to get all sorts of descriptions, but what we're looking for is a physical. Mm. Right, hold on a minute. Let's go describe. Uh, better splendid appearance might be tricky with this one right enough because there's so many different ones isn't there let's see body shape colors fins right what we'll do we'll stop there and see what we oh hold on we'll stop there and see what we get copy so we want to go over to um let's take that out let's see what this gives us right <laughs> look at that that's not bad look that looks like a better in it i mean probably more colors in, eat more colours in that fish than we're probably used to seeing, I would reckon. But that looks like a better you might pick up, doesn't it? Very pretty better, admittedly. But that's done not bad. Right, do you know what? Let's put it to the test. Let's try something more difficult, right? Describe a bamboo shrimp. There we go. Well, we've got coloration, body shape, antenna, legs, 
size. Let's put it all in and see what it comes out with. So copy, and then we'll go to crayon again. Delete that out. Paste and let it go. So it does say it can take up to a minute to draw what we've asked it to. So I'm probably going to do we edits just to cut out the waiting time and see what we get. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. Oh. I mean, it's a shrimp. It's not quite a bamboo shrimp, now, is it? That's probably the closest, would you think? Except it hasn't got the fans, has it? I don't know. Did the description say about fans? Fan shaped, yeah, that. Right, okay. Okay, right, so what we'll do, right, let's really put it to the test. Let's say, describe a seahorse. <laughs> let's see what this throws up. Bamboo shrimp, right, we've done that. Seahorse. Right, not too worried about size. So let's go with this. Copy. And we'll stick that in the generator. See what we get. Right, it's done some for us, so... Oh, it's actually drawn the seals. Right, I think we're cheating. I actually think we're cheating. Let's take out the words seahorse, right? I'm just wondering, does it, can it pick up what a seahorse is and search that? I didn't want it to do that. I just wanted it cr to create a fish based on the description that we put in. Maybe that's where I've been going wrong, so. Right, we've taken out all seahorses, haven't we? I think we have. Right, let's hit draw. Let's see what that comes up with. Right, there we go, look. <laughs> because it mentioned horse, it has thrown up something really, really strange. What I should have done, right, okay, okay. I'm going to say an aquatic creature, right? Quite a creature to have a distinct body shape. Right, let's try it again. Right, there we go. What have we got? Oh, very, very, very different this time. Doesn't look like a horse. Doesn't look like a seahorse even, but quite cool. Look at that. Looks like something you might see in that, that movie Avatar, isn't it? And that one, in fact. Pretty cool. Now we... Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Just noticed art drawing off photo. What happens if we hit photo? Right, here we go. <laughs> I wouldn't say that's photo quality, would you? Right, I'll try drawing as well, right? See if that gives us anything different. Right, eh. Uh, not that jazzed about it. I like that. That is super cool. That's pretty. But I feel like we should choose something a bit closer to home, right? So let's go back and chat GPT and let's write um, something we would all be familiar with. Describe a uh, guppy fish. Right, there it's coming up. Coloration, body, right, fin size. I'm not worried about size. Right, let's take all of that. Copy, and we'll go on to. Let's take out any mention of guppy. I'm going to put fish instead. Doesn't cause pattern because patterns take that out and put they and 
put this fish has got to get our grammar right, haven't we? Right, hit draw. Let's see what we get now. Yeah, well, <laughs> it does match our description. Doesn't look anything like a guppy, though, does it? Look at that. That looks like a maybe an Oscar and a better header baby, something like that. That looks like a Geo almost. Right, try the art one as well, just to see what it does. Eh. Oh, look at that. That looks like a, a saltwater goby, doesn't it? Something like that. That is not bad. Not perfect, but not far off. Right, okay. I want to do something else now. I want to do, again, something we're all familiar with. So let's go for... Um, describe an angelfish. Coloration, marbling, size, right, everything there to there we're going to take. Oh, ah, right, everything there to there. All right, copy. We'll go back to the program and take out angelfish. We'll put these fish have a distinctive body shape, roughly triangular. Angel fish, these fish we'll put again. Some there, some of these fish. Is it oh, right? Let's see what we get now. All right. So, <laughs> that's kind of angel shape, angelfish shaped, isn't it? Not the colours you'd expect, but that's from pretty cool. I like that. That looks more like a, a croup almost. And what have we got? I, don't, <laughs> I probably would have accepted that one for guppy. All right. So, if AI were creating fish just purely based on appearance. We get some pretty funky things. Look at that. What is that? <laughs> Not sure I'd like to encounter that in the wild. Is that an actual eye or a pattern? I don't know. Okay, I just want to go back to the start here, right? I'm going to do Oscar again, right? Um, describe an Oscar fish. Only this time, what I get, I'm going to take out the word Oscar. Because I think that kind of hamstringed us a wee bit. Where are we? Size, person, that size. That's a physical kind of description, isn't it? Copy that. Um, oh, didn't want to do that. Let's take that out. Paste. We'll put this fish. Fish comes. Making sure Oscar's this fish again. This fish can grow large. I grow down, color pattern may change. Let's try this and see what happens now to our Oscar that we got before. I think, like, the word Oscar probably got pulled up. Maybe AI is. <laughs> more intelligent than me when I'm trying to hoodwink it a wee bit so let's see what this throws up well then that is nothing like the Oscar we got before eh? is it that looks like a marine fish of some kind that's probably the closest to the body shape that we had certainly not what an Oscar looks like I don't know. Good fun, isn't it? 
Like I say, I'm not... <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting from this, if I'm honest with you. I just thought we'd combine two different kinds of AI. One to describe a fish, then put in an image generator and see what we got out. That certainly looks like some sort of saltwater fish, doesn't it? Not an Oscar anyway. Front of that maybe looks like an Oscar. I don't know, right. Let's do one more then, right, just for Jake's, right. Chat GBT, right, let's go for goldfish, eh? Describe a goldfish. Colour, body shape, size. Right, so we'll take it from there. Copy that. Take that out there. These fish again, right? These fish. These fish. All oh, right, there's names of goldfish, so let's take them out. Don't want it cheating us, do we? These fish. Put some species, right? To the more rounded shapes of other types of these fish. Take that out, see what we get. Right then, nothing like a goldfish again. It seems AI goes for the extraordinary rather than, oh, hold on, no, that could be, that looks like a goldfish and a guppy cross, doesn't it? But closer to the goldfish anyway, that, <laughs> nothing like either of them. That could, some stretch of the imagination almost be getting close to the goldfish I like that see if we could create that that'd be a wonderful fish to have in a hobby right I'm not leaving here without doing one more thing and I'm gonna say describe a ram's horn snail There's the description there. Let's take that and stick it in our image generator. I'll put these snails, these aquatic snails, right? Seems like show of was around, so their name, their shells can be around. Right, let's try that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look at these. You wouldn't mind having them in your in your tank, would you? Not sure what's going on here. <laughs> that looks like a ram's horn with an MTS, a Malaysian trumpet snail, kind of bury <laughs> burying into it. That's not bad. That looks like a ram's horn snail. Almost. That's not far off either. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't even want to see that again. That makes me feel uncomfortable. But, like I say, I just wanted to have a bit of fun with AI. Yeah, just a bit of fun, really. Thought I'd see what would come out if we put a description of a fish in AI and put it into an AI generator. And I think we have shown that it can come up with some creative and wonderful ideas. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, so I was wondering what would happen. I thought I'd take you along with me while I figured it out. And now I've done it, I'm out. Later, 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 later.